Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Chanteuse Tarot. Hi, everyone, and welcome. This is a general love message for this sign of Gemini for the month of, month of March 2020. You could have Gemini anywhere in your astrological chart. You could also be cross-watching for a Gemini or just intuitively drawn here. Whatever the reason or season, you are very, very welcome. Quick announcements. So let me just adjust the camera a bit here. So um, I have a YouTube channel and a corresponding Instagram page, Shantus Tarot. Please do go check it out. Give me a follow. And um, I upload or post daily tarot card pulls, usually just three cards to give you some insight, motivation, um, daily message. So yeah, if you're interested in being entered to win a free tarot reading with me, you can do one of two things. You can uh, either follow me on Instagram and like a current post, so for the month of February, and or you can subscribe to this channel and leave a comment for a current month's video. The way that works is I upload a month in advance. So this month, February, I am currently uploading videos for March. So if you comment on a March video, you would be entered for the February drawing, which will I will announce on March 1st, the winner. Um, and if I don't hear from you within like a day, 24 hours, I'll move on to the next person. So um, my suggestion is to cover your bases if you can and follow me on Instagram and subscribe here on YouTube and uh, click the notification bell so that you can be notified when I announce the winner. Okay, let's get into your reading, Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. Um, you could be involved with an Aries or have Aries somewhere in your chart. This is the boss of all bosses, the king of kings, um, divine masculine energy a protector, a provider. So this could be you or your significant other, whether you are um, male, female, it doesn't matter. But this is um, a protective guardian energy that I really like to see. Also is self-employment. So one or both of you could possibly be an entrepreneur working for yourself or be a supervisor. At the bottom of this heart spread, we have the King of Cups, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, water energy, and the Page of Pentacles, which is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be an age gap in this relationship, one of you younger and one older. Um, not necessarily, but that's a, a possibility. A younger Earth sign and um, older water sign energy. Um, the King of Cups is rather emotional. He has a dreamy-like quality to him. He could be rather dreamy. He likes being near or around water. Um, he may not always show how emotional he is on the surface, but still waters run deep. And trust, you know, be assured that he is very emotional, even if he doesn't always show it. Page of Pentacles energy is more practical, more down to earth. It could be a practical author, offer that either you make to your love interest or they make to you. Um, you also might know this person through work. You might work in a creative field um, because King of Cups has to do with emotions and creativity. Um, yeah, you could potentially work together. That just came to me and one of you is a supervisor, which could get rather tricky. So I'm not telling you not to... Um, you know, be involved with someone you work with, but it can bring additional challenges. So keep that in mind, particularly if one of you supervises the other, that can get really messy. So it's something to consider. Be mindful and be careful. Uh, here we have the Queen of Pentacles, more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Seven of Wands. This is fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, I'm thinking that this might be a work situation. Um, and like I said, one of you is a bit older and mature. Um, even though this is, you know, earth energy, this looks like the ram for Aries. So um, you, the Aries, could be the supervisor or the older person or more mature person in this relationship. And you're feeling defensive about your relationship because it's 
frowned upon. Um, you know, if you really have a strong connection with this person and, you know, you, you don't want to give up on it, um, which this card means, not giving up, being resilient, standing strong, um, defensive energy, then I highly recommend you go through the proper channels. That means you probably have to contact HR, let them know about your relationship, that it's completely consensual, that you're not abuse you or your partner is not abusing his or her power in the relationship. Um, there are ways to uh, legitimize a relationship between a supervisor and the person that he or she supervises, but it takes uh, great care and tact and diplomacy. Next, we have the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So yet more earth energy, which again gives me the impression that you might work together or you're working together on a project that may be how you met. Three of Pentacles is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and we have the Five of Wands, more fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is conflict. This is competition. So um, one or both of you could be highly sought after, either within the work environment or romantically speaking. Um, and or this could be inner conflict, right? You, you know that you need to keep it professional, but you really have strong feelings or a strong attraction for this person. And, um, you know, you've got a conflict between your professional and your romantic interests. So I get it. I have been there. Just be careful um, because, you know, you wouldn't want the relationship to go sour and then it to negatively impact your job. Also, before it even gets started, it would be terrible if, you know, there's rumors, say people notice that you two have particular chemistry and gossip begins before anything has actually happened and then you know your reputation may suffer so just be mindful and be careful and do your best to um, keep things on the up and up next we have the chariot and the well so if you're not familiar with this deck it has two additional major arcana most decks have only uh, 22 ending with the world this deck has two additional, the well and the artist. The well is affiliated, affiliated with the number 22. Uh, so March 22nd could be significant for some of you. Uh, could be your birthday. Um, and then the chariot is Cancerian energy. So you could be involved with a car cancer or have cancer in your chart. Um, this has to do with movement. Uh, travel is what I'm picking up here. Um, the well has to do, I think, with creativity, um, with emotions, drawing from a well um, a source. So I'm thinking that maybe the two of you need to get away. Go, to, you know, if you're at that point in your relationship where you're comfortable traveling together, this is telling me that maybe you should try to get away. Maybe go to. Uh, the beach for a weekend getaway to a lake somewhere near water somewhere that's relaxing get you out of your typical um, everyday office environment and see if this relationship you know really has a chance if it can thrive um, it looks like there is great potential here for the two of you um, and again you know this is a general read so I'm picking up on energies for hundreds of people but if, if the job scenario does resonate, I, I really think that time away, just the two of you, would really be beneficial for this relationship to see if it really has a chance um, without the distractions of your job. Next, we have the Five of Cups and the High Priestess. So this is um, more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. High Priestess, I think, is also watery energy, Cancerian, Piscean. So intuitively, you know, you know, it's probably not the ideal situation romantically to be working together. Um, she looks like a teacher to me. I just picked that up. So maybe you work together at a school. And yeah, that can get really hairy. And you're disappointed, right? Because you're like, shoot, I, I met this person. We have a fantastic connection, but we work together. And, you know, people will gossip. I could lose my job. Um, 
you know, what if it doesn't work out and we still have to see each other every day? There are tons of things that could go wrong. Those, those are those three of cups um, that are spilt here. But look at the two of cups in the back. Think about all the things that could go right, you know? Um, it's not a surprise that celebrities, you know, end up getting involved with other celebrities because they're the people that they work with, that they socialize with, that they see every day. And if you, when you consider the amount of time that you spend at work, you, you often spend more time with your coworkers than you do with your family. So it makes sense that you meet someone at work. Um, look at the positives. Consider that this person was put in your path for a reason, that this connection is important and that it should be fostered and nurtured. Um, follow your intuition though. If you feel like now is not the right time or that you know, patience is required in planning before you move forward or, you know, before you're, you allow your relationship to develop to a deeper level, take that time because you, can, um, you can't take back something once it's said. You can't take back an action once it's committed. So take your time. Patience is key here. Queen of Swords. So this is your energy, Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a woman who... I like to say suffers no fools. She uh, can be rather blunt um, in her delivery. She's been around the block. She knows what works for her, what doesn't, what she wants, what she doesn't want, and she's not afraid to say it. Um, this could be your energy or the energy of your love interest, but I think, you know, cut cut the, the, the crap, right? Like, you, you need to be really honest and direct with each other and... Um, and, you know, especially if you want this relationship to move forward, you need to be honest, you need to be straightforward, and, um, you know, don't beat around the bush. Be very direct with how you're feeling and what you're thinking. Um, all right, Gemini, in order to round out this reading, I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Oh, this card came right out. <laughs> You deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you are. If you had any doubt, please rest assured, this is a reminder that you are so lovable. You deserve unconditional love. So if you've been thinking, you know, this is too good to be true, or, um, you know, maybe this person doesn't really care for me as much as I care for them or as much as I think they do, Put those fears to rest. You are lovable and you deserve love. Always. Whether things work out with this person or not, you deserve love. That is really important for you to remember. So Gemini, I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If it didn't, um, or only parts of it did, take what did, uh, leave the rest. Uh, it's a general reading, as I've said before, so it will not resonate for everyone. Um, I really do appreciate your taking the time to commune with me. If you would like for me to take a look into your personal situation, please read the instructions and information in the description box below on how to order a private reading. Wishing you so much love and light wherever you are in the world. Take such good care of yourself. Bye-bye.